Hello and hello, and today, a uh, really random video for a topic, but it's just something I feel like talking about. Wyoming drivers. So, I live in Wyoming. I don't live in Wyoming. What am I talking about? I live real close to Wyoming, okay? I, I'm i like 5 to 10 miles from the border, okay? Like, I'm as close to the border as you're going to get since... The closest town to Wyoming from the border, like, is Custer in South Dakota, and I live, like, 25 miles closer to the border than Custer is, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm, like, right there on the border. So, naturally, I have to deal with people from Wyoming a lot, but without my job and driving to and from work and stuff like that, you know, a stupidly high number of people from Wyoming shop at my Dairy Queen for whatever reason. So we're going to complain about people from Wyoming for a bit, because I got some complaints. So first of all, it's going to be a, a, a small variety of stuff I'm going to talk about. So, sign with the drivers. Oh boy, they are crap drivers. Did you know that Wyoming has the smallest population of all the U.S. states? And is like the second least like amount of people per square mile, only beat by Alaska? Which has like one person per square mile or something like that. <laughs> Wyoming has like two. <laughs> well, despite that, and the fact that Wyoming has like 90% flat plains of nothingness, you know, despite the fact that no one lives there and there's like no obstacles to hit, no people, no nothing, it's the number one state for traffic accidents. <laughs> It's not California, it's not New York, not Jersey, not Texas, not Florida, not, not nothing like that. No, no, no. It's Wyoming. <laughs> and I think I know why. Holy crap, people from Wyoming are terrible drivers. So they will, like, go 100 million miles an hour, ride up on your ass, pass you in a legal passing zone, and then slow down to, like, 60 once they pass you. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Or sometimes they will just continue to go 500 miles an hour after they pass you. Ignoring the fact that the speed limit is 65 or 70. They will just go, yeah, I'm just going to go 90. <laughs> it's a good thing there's no cops in Wyoming. <laughs> but, like, this has got to be one of the reasons why there's no more traffic accidents. They they go, like, 20 miles over the speed limit, even though the speed limit would be, like, 80. <laughs> Like, goddamn, 80's too slow for you? <laughs> like, I'll be going, like, 65 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour speed limit area. You best believe some douche from Wyoming is going to try and pass me. One time, I nearly got into a car accident because the dude from Wyoming tried to legally pass me. <laughs> I didn't even have my license yet. This was my second attempt at trying to get my license. I was just driving home from the DMV, you know? I was turning into my neighborhood, you know, I was slowing down, had my blinker on, because it's like, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm about to turn, you know, and I'm about to turn, I don't know if I've told this story before or not, but I'm about to turn, right, dude's behind me, legal, illegal, double yellow line, can't pass me here, you know, I had to do that, I'm, I'm this hand, you know, I turn, this dude's like, oh yeah, better fucking... <laughs> Better just pff, that guy, you know, he's <laughs> so like I was looking like in my rear view mirror. I was like, hmm, where'd the guy go? I look in my like uh you know the side mirror, I'm like, oh shit <laughs> Had to dodge that dude. I think another guy just went ahead and joined the party and passed me too. <laughs> so well, that was kinda scary. Would you believe the from Wyoming? <laughs> And I would just real quickly like to go on a side tangent about Wyoming people chopping at my Dairy Queen. Oh my god, they never know what's on the menu, I swear. One one time, uh, yesterday, well not yesterday, but like one time like in the past week or two I worked, dude from Wyoming comes in. He asks for mashed potatoes. <laughs> huh? He also asked for a blizzard we don't have on the menu. Another dude asked for grilled cheese. <laughs> Corn dogs, like, ooh, you're all reading our menus, right? 
I swear, they always ask for shit that isn't on the menu, or, like, was on the menu half a year ago. <laughs> or just, somehow, they'll, like, they always manage to mess up the orders. <laughs> Without fail, they will say something that's not on the menu, or say something stupidly incorrectly, or be vague as hell, or just, it's always people from Wyoming, or just out of the state in general, you know? The most consistent people who I know get the menu right are people from South Dakota, okay? I know the menu's, like, different from state to state or whatever. I don't know, menu's identical to what it was uh, in Florida when I went to Jacksonville for Christmas. You know, same there, other than the fact that I think they had the candy cane show blizzard or whatever. But, uh, other than that, the fact that drinks were, like, an extra 10 cents, it was the same. <laughs> I've never been to a day in Wyoming, but, like, do they just have a completely different menu there? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I think I think that's all I wanted to say about people from Wyoming. Uh, I don't like them. They're annoying, entitled, there's only, like, seven of them, but they think they're the hot shit. <laughs> Ooh, anyway, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, that's going to be one of the main motivating factors for me to move out of South Dakota, just so I don't have to deal with them, because there's so many... People from Wyoming in South Dakota. It's especially this part of South Dakota. Because like I said, we're right on the border anyway. So anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like or subscribe if you feel like it. Or you can leave a comment down below if you have anything to say about it. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at Realx5. And until next time, I'll see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.